got Casey crewing for the uh, SA prototype. And he's excited. And as you can see, two-time world champion is here. Now, we have got a misty or a, what, what do they call it? A foggy day here down at the uh, bend. And today I will be driving the SA prototype. And then we're gonna be going in the F4. And that should be pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to that. Race of all the kids. Uh, they are all faster than me. So we'll see how we go for that. Qualifying a bit later on today. Driver's briefing is on soon. And we'll see if we can get some footage throughout the day. The boys said they've done something a bit tricky. My car this weekend. Check it out. I can see it. it looks cooler. Pretty cool. Well, there you have it. Um, that was qualifying two with the... F4. Now, a lot of people put on new tyres. I, I kept the tyres from Quali 1. I felt good, but I guess the guys right up the front, it's still a few seconds, so that's a lot in motorsport. But in the scheme of things, a 0.5 covered about five positions then, so I was pretty happy. I'm looking forward to a pretty cool race, actually. It should be pretty fun, to be honest. So, yeah, see where it goes. The boys there all fucking debriefing. Look at that seriousness over there with Seb. But a yeah, few people put new tyres on for Q2, but a lot of the jam guys didn't, I don't think. So pretty happy with that, even though even though Mark's ahead and some of them not washy or whatever. Here we go. Gotta get the start here. Very good before we started. I've seen that before. What a start to boss as you see. Why not just come screaming across? Drake has held on, so after that great initial launch, he held it around the outside of turns one at the inside for two and took the lead. So, a uh, great job from uh, the local South Australian. Current Australian champion in front two, JP Drake, the yeah. national champion. So, a lot of experience under that belt. We know when he gets to the front how difficult he is to get past because it is a fairly fast wolf race car, which is the current lead car. The reigning national champion and Drake is very strong. Drake sets a PB 48-9. John Paul Drake is catching up as well in this battle leading masters driver out there. John Paul Drake would like to show some of these youngsters how it's done. He's actually catching up to a Mario down the back section of the course. Really good racing from John Paul Drake. He's a busy man. Not only running Drake supermarkets here in South Australia, but uh, racing as well in the SA Prototype Series, the National Prototype Series. And why don't you throw in a bit of Australian Formula 4 action as if you're not doing enough? Well, it's been a hot minute and it's fair to say <laughs> I haven't had a chance to bloody take this camera out. It has been back to back. Today I was literally getting ferried from the F4 to the Prototype Series. So it has been hectic and it's fair to say, as you can see, Masters uh, champion. You know, I'd like to be faster than the young kids, but I've got a little bit to go. Maybe a bit of practice might help me get there. But I was pretty happy of how I went uh, this week, first time in the F4, which is pretty wild. But dead set, turned the wick up a little bit on the, the boost for the last race of the prototype. Mark shot, he's all over it. That car is an absolute monster. Unfortunately, um, had a bit of a, a mechanical issue at the end, but I haven't driven the car with uh, the turned up boost for, I can't even remember when, so that was pretty cool. And then you yeah, ended up lucky enough, just because uh, there was a DNF from Mark, he had two wins, I had two seconds and a first, and unfortunately he had a DNF, but great weekend for me, won the SA prototype round, and uh, the Masters in the Formula 4, I think, I don't know, maybe sixth or seventh overall. Oh, look at that, Garnett, the super coach here. He's uh, been lucky enough to be helping out. And here you go, Garnett, there's the car, one piece, all tickety boo. What do you think about the weekend, Garnett? Did well. Two different categories, very different for you. I think it was exciting, made you push hard. Tried the race of 15 year olds. Yeah, that was fucking hard work, I'll be honest with you. Um, but anyway, uh, we will see where it goes. Uh, I will do the next round, it happens to be the same time as the prototypes. So that works for me, uh, no extra time off from home. Thanks babe, and we'll see where it goes. <laughs> bit of behind the scenes. A little bit of behind the scenes. <laughs> Uh, just for the other guys, if they want to race real racing, they drive the prototype where the VOP is pretty much sorted. I, I hope it is. Yeah, I don't know. It's fucking close. This girl is sweaty as balls. Is it? 
Just don't sweat as much, mate. <laughs> Do you see how much I was dripping when I got out? Like when I got out from the F4 to go to the prototype, this heart rate monitor was bloody, it fucking didn't know what was going on. Look at this, the strain is in the overstrain. Like, damn, look at this. And yesterday, see, it, it really, not bad. Good sleep, Not bad, 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 bad.